just got to not make silly moves and come off, just stay on, get as many points as possible and go for it in the final. Destined for success from a young age, Dan Weldon at just 15. He'd already been karting for more than 10 years at this point, mixing a burgeoning racing career with his homework at Bedford School. A lot of people like me to concentrate on both, but it's a lot harder than you think it is. So you just have to sort of split the balance and get it right. Ably supported by his parents, Clive and Sue, part of his backroom team, driving him around the country. His father, a former carter himself. He's got a very quick brain out there. Um, which you need. Um, you can't think when to make a move. When you do that, it's too late. You've got to make the move before it really comes into your head. Watching his career develop, an early rivalry with Jensen Button, but Dan failing to follow him into Formula One. Instead, frustrated by lack of investment at home, heading to the US in 1999. Three years later, an Indy car, a US-based alternative to F1, winning the championship's biggest race, the Indy 500, twice. Despite being one of Britain's most talented motor racing drivers, respected by his peers, not a household name in Britain, not even in his own hometown. Do you know this man? No. Don't recognise him at all? No. Sorry. No, wouldn't ring any bells, I'm afraid.